What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie and today I want to show you guys the Disconnect program for Linux. So a couple of weeks ago, I ran across a post on a Linux subreddit. I believe the developer actually posted his program called Disconnect and he was asking people to check it out. And I told him I would. So later on, when I actually installed it and played around with it, I was super impressed. So I thought I would do a quick video just showing you guys the actual application and how to actually use it. So Disconnect is basically a terminal disk space navigator built using the Rust programming language and is supported on Linux and Mac OS. So let me go down and bring up the GitHub. Just give me one second. Okay, so for today, I'll be using Manjaro with the XFCE desktop. Uh, I already have their GitHub page pulled up. And I just wanted to show you the application. I'll link, I'll put the link down in the description of the video, but this is the GitHub page you can actually get the application from. And let's go down and scroll down a little bit so I can show you guys the application. They have a GIF right here that goes through and shows you a demo of the actual application. You know once it's installed uh and i'll just read a little bit it says given a path on your hard drive which could also be the root path uh disconnect scans it and indexes its metadata to memory so that you could explore explore its content even while still scanning uh once completed uh you can navigate through subfolders getting a visual tree map representation of what what's taken up your disk space you can even delete files and folders and Disconnect will track how much space you freed up in this session. So like I said, this is a pretty cool application, man. I enjoy playing around with it. And so I just wanted to show the community this application and how to actually use it a little bit. Uh, but here's the installation instructions. Now, one thing about it, I already have it pulled up. You have to have the Rust programming language installed on the system. And the way you do that is simply by, you just do a quick Google search, install Rust, and then it'll bring you to the Rust page. They have a, you know, a landing page or whatever you want to call it. Oh, it says rustlanguage.org. Well, anyway, this is basically how you install it. Uh, so you just run a quick curl command, and this will download a, a script that will install Rust for you. And it's all based on the distribution you're using because it works on Mac OS as well as Linux. So if you're using like Ubuntu or one of these distributions that are not listed here below, uh, then you have to run that script to install Rust. But on Fedora, um, I believe when you install it, it will install Rust along with it. As well as on Orch, they have a, they have a package in the AUR that you can download and install using yay or you can make the package you know you can get clone it and then actually make the package uh if you like to do it that way so like i stated if you're using like ubuntu or one of these other distributions that are not listed here because these are the ones that they have a pre-built built package for then you want to install rust first by just basically running this script this will install rust as well as the the cargo installer so that's what it's saying right here and that's why i wanted to kind of reiterate that make sure i don't forget anything but cargo is the actual installer that you need for rust this will install this will install rust packages so you just basically type cargo install disconnect and that installer will will be installed once you install rust because with that script you know it includes that installer so but since I'm on Manjaro, I'm going to just use the AUR package and I also have Yay installed. So I'm going to use that AUR helper so I don't have to build a package using these commands, which is not that it's not that difficult, but I just prefer to run one command and it's installed. So but I already have uh, Disconnect installed, uh, so I'm going to go down and minimize this and we can start by testing out the actual application. And there's two ways to start the scanning process or actually run the program. You can either CD to a specific directory. So let's say we want to CD to our home directory. You can CD to it, which I already know that we're there because of the tilde that lets you know that you're in your home directory. But you could just run the command 
strictly from here or you can specify a specific location let's say you want to look into your root directory or you want to look into another directory you just cd to it and then run disk and i or you can like this as well by you know just specifying it so let's go down and run it on e the etc directory because i don't have anything in the home directory so let's go down and press enter and as you can see it'll store scanning and it, it was pretty quick because i don't have much I don't have many directories in here anyway or many applications installed on this system so it only took a couple of seconds to scan this directory okay so let's talk about quick navigation right fast so you just use your up and down arrows while you're in the terminal and this will you know allow you to select directories so these are the top level directories and these are directories these are other smaller directories and if you look at the bottom uh, this explains it right here uh, So you got your up down left right arrows and then you have the enter button escape key and then the navigation Well, and that's the navigation and then the delete is actually backspace So that lets you know what it is. So once we get into let's say this pacman D directory Let's say we want to get into that one We could press enter there and that'll take us to that directory and you'll see that it has 11 descendants. So that's the only directory that's in there, GNU PG. And if we go in there, you know, we can go through and look at, you know, all the directories down. And you, in order to go back, you just hit the escape button. That'll take you up a level. You know, it's just simple, basic uh, navigation when it comes to this. So um, that's one reason I like the application is the simplicity. And you can see, you know, the full tree of the directory. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys check this application out uh, and just play around with it. I believe the developer, you know, is open to people assisting with the development of this actual application. Uh, and I see this thing getting better and better in the future. So make sure you guys check it out, man. And please hit the subscribe button as well as check out all my social media links within the description of the video. And if you have any questions on any of the applications that I show on my channel, please check out my Discord chat channel, which I have that link down in the description below as well. Uh, I'm on there all the time and I try to help people if they have any issues with some of the programs that I've done videos on. So check that out. And I hope you guys have a good day. Keep it techie.